I had what they wanted. Where are you, Mr. Marchioni? We will find you. What's in the bag, Mr. Marchioni? Now then, let's find out what's in the bag. Ah, look who's awake. You're just in time. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Oh. Don't cut the bag, it has a zipper. What are you doing, man? How about that intro, am I right? If you liked it, hit that subscribe button now, hit that like button because there is a lot more of that to come. Now, onto the important stuff. What's in my camera bag, 2019 edition. I'm fired up. This year, I'm traveling a little bit lighter in general. I'm gonna show you guys what is inside this beautiful package here. But first, we have to talk about the package itself. My camera bag. I'm rocking the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW. Honestly, dudes and lady dudes, this is the best camera bag you can buy. Hands down, there's a reason you see a bunch of YouTubers using it. I've been through a bunch of camera bags. Some okay, some not good at all, but this one is easily the best option. It's got the most space, it's the most comfortable. There's like 250 million different attachments for it, for little pouches and storage and like, it fits everything whether you're traveling light or you're traveling heavy, like, I can probably get all of my camera gear in here. It's got like, crazy pockets and it's so good that I just, I don't feel the need to buy another camera bag. So like, if you're gonna invest, buy this bad boy, buy it once and you're set and unless, you know, it like, catches on fire or something. Other than that, no issues. Let's open her up. Oh yeah. So, inside here you will notice one thing is missing. The 1DX. That's a camera I shoot on. Love the 1DX, but I'm using it right now, so obviously not in the bag. Um, when it comes to like lenses, I travel with two lenses always, and really only two lenses I ever use. You've got the 24 to 105 f4. Uh, L series lens. This is the lens I use the most when it comes to like vlogging and just general footage. It's like super wide angle so like you can hold it relatively close to your face without having to worry that you have to stretch your arm out just to be in the frame. The other lens I use, the 85mm f1.4? f1.4. Sick lens for portraits. Getting it down to f1.4 just gives you that like awesome bokeh in the background and like for b-roll you can get like nice crisp in tight shots and focus on just like one small area money in the bank it's really hard to take a bad picture with this lens it's beautiful moving on for those lenses i carry this bad boy right here Fot fotka fotka i don't know how to say it Fotka, it's a variable ND filter. The reason I only carry the one is because these two lenses happen to have the exact same thread diameter, 77 millimeters, I believe. 77 millimeters. So this one variable ND filter ends up fitting on both. If you don't have lenses with the same thread count or thread diameter, whatever it is, all right, anyway. If you don't have two lenses with the same thread millimeter thingamajig, you're gonna have to get a couple of them, or you can buy like the kits where they screw onto each other so that one filter fits on several different lenses. Both options, 
I will list below. I will list everything in this kit below, except maybe my laptop, because you know, that's, you just buy yourself a laptop. I'm, I'm not gonna do it for you. The next thing we're gonna move on to is this bad boy right here. The Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, the best vlogging mic. This is like, it does a great job for like interviews, for vlogging, for B-roll sounds. Like, this is like a one-time purchase and I've got like the dead cat on there. It's so soft and I'm just gonna just take a quick nap here. Um, yeah, no, it's like a sweet vlogging mic. Got the, the cord to plug her in. The reason I love that mic so much is because it actually has an auto on and off feature. I am the worst at remembering to turn on and turn off the microphone. Can't even tell you how many batteries I've gone through. Wait a minute, I don't even know if this mic's turned on. We're good. You don't have to worry about turning it on and off. It turns on when you're in a film mode that requires sound. It turns off when you're like playing back or when your camera shuts off. Wicked mic, the way to go. One thing I hate about my camera bag slash camera setup, this thing. This is the 1DX battery charger. It's like, this is like the old school Night at the Roxbury cell phone of camera chargers. Mom, how old are these? These are embarrassing. Well, you know, in case of emergency. It's 2018, now it's 2019, and we can't figure out how to charge batteries on a smaller scale. Why is this this big? Who designed this to be this big? My only beef with the whole kit. I don't wanna have to carry this around. Brutal. Um, you got your headphones, your chargers, your stupid Apple brick things that they make a killing selling to you. Little pocket knife. Always good if you have to like open up packaging or something. You never know when you're gonna need it. Don't take it through airport security. You'll probably lose it. This next thing right here is a beauty little camera hack. You're gonna use the cover from your camera and the backing of a lens. Could be an old lens. Like if you have a lens and a camera body, you have an extra set of both of these. All I do is I screw them together and inside you've got, you know, extra batteries, SD cards, any like small nonsense stuff that could bounce around in your bag. Just throw it into one of these, little, little package for you, boom. Up top we got a recorder with a lav mic. Neither of these are expensive. These are super cheap and like you never know if you wanna just mic someone up for a, an interview or if you're vlogging but you need other footage, pff, great investment. Like I think together these are probably about under a hundred bucks. I carry them with me. I don't use it that often but that's something that like, it's one thing that if I need it, I have it and if I don't have it, I'm kinda of out of luck so just keep it with you. No harm, no foul. Up next, we got the Aperture M9 Lite. This little guy, super bright and super small, like the size of a credit card. Again, it takes up so little space in my bag, even with all the accessories and gels and all that stuff, it takes up so little space that like, why not have it in there? My bag would be empty if I just didn't carry all these accessories. Moving on. This little bag of goodies. It's not actually a bag of goodies. Nothing exciting in here, just cords, okay? like. The camera charger has a cord. I got an iPhone cable in here, my Ronin S cord, laptop cords. Like, I have like five different chargers in here. So like, if you keep all the cords for everything loose, it becomes a mess of, it's like snakes on a plane, but inside a camera bag. I have had it with these mother snakes on this mother plane. So I just fire it into this little guy. Keeps it nice and organized. You always know where your cords are. Nothing's getting tangled, nothing's getting messed up. Easy peasy. Moving up to the top section. Small little pockets, these are great for like camera key, camera cleaning cloth. Say that 10 times fast. Camera cleaning, camera, camera cleaning cloth, camera cleaning cloth, camera cleaning cloth, camera cleaning cloth. Yeah, keep that in there. You know, it's, can't shoot well with a dirty lens and you don't want to be like, no, doesn't work. Camera key. Camera cleaning cloth. Wow. A little bit of extra cash monies. You never know. Right now I got euros. Last place I went. A couple of Canadian bucks in there. Um, yeah, it's just a good, good, good to have it on you because like you could be walking and somebody fires their hand in your pocket. Pickpockets you. Bam. You have no money left. Wrong. You have money. Just hidden away. Another like going back to the camera bag. Sick feature about this bag. When it's closed, the only way to access it is from the back. So like. 
In order for someone to unzip it, essentially they have to take it off your back. And if somebody takes it off your back, unzips it, steals your stuff from you, zips it, puts it back on your back, and you don't realize, you are dumb. And you deserve to have things stolen from you. Sorry. Getting back in here. This up top, this pocket right here. Boom. One Icelandic krona. I keep it in there because I remember my trip to Iceland, which was fantastic. And if you haven't watched it, go watch all three parts. Start at number one. Anyway, I keep this in here because it's a, a reminder, which is kind of cool. This is not going to go in your kit. There's no sentimental value, but it's also the perfect thickness for like tripod, hot shoes and like mounts and stuff. So it's like a mini screwdriver. It's great. You could probably just buy like a screwdriver set, but it's a better story. Up top, you got your laptop compartment. You got my little MacBook in there. Oh yeah. And I think it fits like up to 15 inches, which if you have a laptop that's bigger than 15 inches, like reconsider your choices. The bag again has like a bunch of pockets and like different ways in and out. Like even some secret compartments where you can hide your not drugs and stuff like that, like passports and stuff. Uh, on the front here too, I always keep in one pocket some business cards. You never know when you're gonna meet a really cute model walking through the streets of Barcelona and then she wants a green card and wants to marry you and move to Canada all because you had a business card on you and you gave it to her. Boom, that's the plan. That's not actually why I carry them, but you know, always get to have business cards on you. You never know who you're gonna meet. And then in the other little front secret pouch pocket, AA batteries. You always need AA batteries. You always need AA batteries and no one ever has them. And you don't want to be that guy who's like, oh man, can I borrow some of the AA batteries? And then the other guy's like, don't have any AA, sorry dude. And then you're SOL. Just carry them, just carry them. Other than that, a couple other things I take with me, but don't keep in my camera bag. Um, not because they don't fit, but just because it seems easier because they have their own cases. My drone has its own case and the DJI Ronin S, depending on what I'm shooting, don't always carry that, but when I'm shooting it, it has its own like hard briefcase style thing. And other than that, that's about it. Oh, and this bad boy right here, an essential. Boom. Joby Gorilla Pod, always hanging off the side there. Sick tripod to have because like you don't want to always bring like the full setup. These are sick because they're small, they're lightweight, they're bendable, you could wrap it around a tree, you could, I don't know, it's, it does a bunch of things. It's just great to have. Throw it on the side of your camera bag. This camera bag even has a specific pouch to hold it in. I think what I'm trying to say here is you need this camera bag. I know everybody's camera bag is a little bit different and this is just what I've got in mind. Like I am so curious to see what things you guys carry in your camera bag that I don't carry. You know what, I'm totally open to suggestions. If you guys are in the comments like, yo Daniel, you should start bringing this around. I'll totally consider it. Find it for a good price. Throw an Amazon link down there. I will click it, I will buy it because I'm always looking to improve my camera bag and I hope that my camera bag helped you guys make decisions about your camera bag. That being said, if you guys like this video, as I mentioned before, that sick intro, you know that sick intro at the beginning? You should probably just watch it again because it was so cool. That's probably my favorite intro. As I said before, if you like the video, if you like what I'm doing here, if you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button because A, I love all my subscribers, even you, and B, I would love to keep making these videos for you guys and I can't do that if you guys aren't buying into what I'm dishing out and I would appreciate it so much if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, even turn that notification bell on because like, you know, hey, Daniel, new video, awesome, I'm gonna watch it. Do those things and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.